So do you just put the stain on the top or do you put it on the bottom as well? So first I did the bottom and I made sure that the bottom soaked in and that the whole bottom was covered. Now I'm just spreading what came through the top. I'll use my little artist brush on the spline, but this is just a simple thing to do. I just sit here and brush, brush, brush it in, a good oil-based stain. And just as you can see from under here, I just flipped it over, see the holes? Did the bottom, and now I'll get my artist brush. I'll get do the little bit of spline, I rub it in. There's no need to put anything else on. So do you want to stain the spline as well? Absolutely. And I do a nice job with the spline, but first I just work it into the nooks and crannies and take my time. But if you notice, I'm using all the stain that came through from when I did underneath. So I'm only using that stain. I'm not adding a ton more. And then what I also will do is I'll take my caning nipper. So if there are any hairs pop up, I just get my caning nipper and I just take them right off. But there's no reason with, this is a very, very soft brush. So you have to use a soft brush. You have to use a good oil-based stain. And as you could see, it does go in.